Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinobi Ranger here and welcome back to another episode of our Total War 3 Kingdoms 1v1 Unit Comparison Series videos and today we have Axe Band vs G Militia. The stats for the two units should be popping up on the screen anytime now so you can take a look against how the two units size up against each other in direct combat. Okay. Also note that they are playing on romance mode. So romance mode is where the characters or generals in the game are depicted as larger than life heroes capable of pulling off impossible feats as depicted in the novel The Romance of the Three Kingdoms. We are also playing an ultra unit scale setting. So on ultra unit scale, infantry units with the exception of a few units have 240 men per unit. Okay, now these axe band are very specific to the sentinel class. Okay, uh, the G militia are commanded by the champion since the champion is responsible for the spear slash pole arm or halberd club class of troops infantry okay whereas our axe band are solely meant for recruitment by the champion class whereas our saber militia would be recruited by all classes of uh, characters in the game these are not like that also these are considered militia okay hence you cannot they cannot adopt advanced formations they are axe men who have something called as sh uh, shield breaker okay so this reduces the melee evasion of shield and shield armor that is depicted by these two stats. Okay. Uh, since they are okay, since under sentinel, we have something called as charge negation. Okay. And also this unit take those See, all these abilities are given by the sentinel. So for that reason, we use the sentinel first. Okay, now as usual, uh Chavian, you are on. Uh, you will just you are the spectator. Second region goes far away. Draw the enemy general to duel. Let the two units duke it out. And I am sure that they will use their caltrops. So if uh, an, if an infantry unit has this caltrops ability, they'll throw these caltrops. Okay, and these can cause damage. So that is one thing to watch out for. Okay, let's start. First thing. Get over there. We him over there. We start advancing towards the G militia unit. If we do not get in the charge, that's okay. If both units charge, that's okay. If both units do not charge, that's okay. I am not too much for that because the behavior of the air is weird. Aha! He's challenging us to do it. Okay, okay, I'll pull you a bit a bit further. And I will accept. Good, okay, good, 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 good. good. You just walk. Okay, ooh, they're throwing card drops incoming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And they have to charge us. They need to charge us, come on, are you charging? Sorry, anticlimactic, but Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay.
敌将已被我军斩了。哦，你们这里就只有这点能耐吗 ？Very. Yeah, see, this does not work because they don't have any shields. This will work only on a uh, unit which is wielding shields. But the debuff is going to be applied. Okay, good. All right, uh, 191, 141. So where are those caltrops? There they are. Okay, I will go back. 191 to 141. Yeah, yeah, leave. Oh, leave, leave them be now. Yeah, just, just step away from the fight, please. There are bloody caltrops. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, already one person died. Damn, see? Are we on the caltrops? God damn it, I can't see anything. Okay, move forward. Oh no, fine, just run away there. I should do that. Oh. Okay, so now 191 to 141. So what is that? So 49 men killed to uh, 141 is 99 men. Yeah, 99. Okay, fine. Let's keep it like this. Uh, 190, 140. Let's do it like that way. So 50 men to 140. That's 100 men. So for every so, so you, you see our axemen just wear basic clothing, no armor at all. Whereas they the militia were wearing some sort of leather armor at least. Note that we have a high attack rate and a high uh, armor piercing damage because of an axe. Okay. So for every axeman who was killed, two G militia were killed. And that is a good exchange considering both units cost the same 450 currency coins, whatever they cost 450 gold, let's give it as gold or copper. That is a good exchange, a fair exchange. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, then leave a like. If you did not like the video, then leave a dislike. Share, comment, and subscribe. But make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos when they are released. Until the next video, this is Shinobi Ranger signing out. Bye!